Hey guys, welcome to All Electronics. I'm Gregory. Today you're gonna see a clever trick when using LT Spice for circuit simulation. Here I have a very common, annoying problem that I always have with LT Spice is that I wanna uh, when I wanna see a transition of a signal, a very specific moment of a signal, we need to get here on the signal and do a zoom. So I want to see the transition edge here of this very simple circuit and I need to zoom in the edge here in the rise edge to see the signal. When I, I change a parameter here on the circuit, let's change this bias voltage to 2 volts and I simulate again. I lost my zoom and I need to zoom again to see the edge. Oh, now the edge changed, but I lost the reference, my set points on, on the graph changed, so I can't see really what's happening here. So a very clever trick when doing this kind of, of, of analysis on LT Spice is to open the simulation command here and make a change here using uh, equations. We can open an equation here on the stop time and on the time to start saving data to uh, center the plot, the data we, we have on the edge we want to see. So let's see here. With the frequency of this circuit, I always have an edge uh, on each. Uh, one microsecond, I, I think. So here, here on 100 microsecond, we have an edge. So what we're gonna do is this: we're gonna open an an equation, an expression here, and we're gonna stop the simulation at uh, 100 microseconds. Let's do it with 180 microseconds. So we get the stabilization of this DC level here. Plus the, the, the time you're gonna see, the time you wanna to the left of, of our, our plot. So let's put here uh, 400 nanosec. And we're gonna, we're gonna start to uh, saving the data of the simulation in 108 uh, microsecond minus 400 nanoseconds. So now we center the screen, the data, on 180 microseconds and we have a window span of 800 nanoseconds. So look what's gonna happen when I simulate now. Let's see. Whoa! My rising edge is on, in on the center of the screen. Why? Remember, here we have 0 nanosecond, but this, this point here is 108 microsecond less 400 and here plus uh, uh, 400. So we have 800 nanosecond of data centered at 180 uh, microseconds. So I want to even more zoom, so we're going to use 100 nanosecond in each side here, inside here. And now I have the edge I want to see. And if I change here, let's change a parameter here. Let's use one volt of bias. Boom! I can see right on the screen the changing and I can, I can get a, a, a much more uh, a nice, nice feeling of the circuit because I, I don't need to lose time zooming and uh, losting my, per, my, my set points on the graph and don't know, I don't, uh, we, we, we lost the reference because now I have the reference of the signal, I can go here, change the bias and boom, see the result instantaneous. So this is very nice, a very nice trick. And we can, I think it, it also improves if we are using some uh, 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 um, parameter sweep here. Let's change this, this bias here to um, 
to a parameter sweep, so we need to use uh, step param param bias. Let's change the bias from zero to two volts in uh, 1.5 volts in 200 mi in 100 millivolts increments. Let's put this directive here and. Let's see if it's gonna work. Yeah, right on the screen or rising edge. I can see here the difference without uh, 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 doing zoom and zooming and zoom out, zooming, losting my reference on the plot. This is a nice trick and I think it can improve your, your experience when using LT Spice for this kind of simulation here. So, Thank you for watching, give a thumbs up in the video, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye!